Hello everyone, I am Narendar from Shake Handed Life. In this video, I will discuss the 8 deadly ways or MUDA which slow down the flow of the process of manufacturing or service delivery. But before to start this lesson, make sure that you have subscribed Shake Hand With Life YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed this channel, then please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell to receive notifications for my future video lectures. The subscribe button is down there. And do write your feedback in comment section and let me know about your valuable thoughts. Now let's take a deep dive to understand the 8 deadly wastes in lean manufacturing. What is MUDA? MUDA means waste or those activities in the process of manufacturing or service delivery which add no value to the customer or in simple terms non-value added activities. Let's take an example to understand this in a better way. Consider a situation you go for a dinner in a restaurant and when you get your order you find it very salty means you cannot able to eat that meal then how would you react in that situation probably you refuse to eat and pay because the meal has no value for you but the fact is that the effort time and cost invested to prepare that meal have gone waste why this happened because the meal doesn't create any value for you Therefore, anything which is not valuable for the customer, anything for which the customer doesn't want to pay is considered as MUDA or waste. Taiji Ono identified the 7 deadly waste in Toyota production system. And these 7 wastes are often referred by the acronym TIMWOOD, means transportation, inventory, motion, waiting, overproduction, overprocessing and defects. But when the Toyota production system adopted by the western world, the eighth waste skills or not utilizing the talent of the employees was added. And as a result, we have eight deadly wastes instead of seven. And now referred by the acronym Tim Woods. Here, the S stands for skills of the employees. These eight ways also referred by the acronym downtime means defects, overproduction, waiting, not utilizing skills, transportation, inventory, motion and excess processing. Now let's begin to understand each individual MUDA or waste one by one. MUDA number one transportation transportation means movement of material or data from one place to another transportation involves touching moving and relocating of raw materials tools and finished goods etc at different stages of a production process during transportation a large number of resources and time are consumed in moving materials while no value is being added to the customer. Excessive movement of materials can also lead to product damage and defects, unnecessary work, greater wear and tear and exhaustion. It is one of the activities that the customer doesn't care about but necessary to produce their finished product. So this waste needs to be minimized in order to save time and reduce potential risks. The major causes of this waste are poor plant layout, unnecessary steps in the process, misaligned process flow, poor understanding of the process flow for production, large batch size, long lead time and large storage area. Buddha number 2 Inventory Inventory is the storage of a valuable product or material 
that is waiting either to be sold to the customer or transformed into something of a greater value. This type of waste occurs as a stock of raw material, spare parts, machines, tools, equipment and storage of finished product in anticipation of future demand for the market. Inventory is a waste or oh, really? Generally, it is difficult to think about excess inventory as waste. In accounting, inventory is seen as an asset. But by the time an item stays in an inventory, its profit margin reduced because of overhead costs and also generates motion and transportation wastes. Also the excess inventory may cause of defects accumulation with product storage which requires more work to correct the defects. And the major causes of excess inventory are overproduction and buffers, mismatched production speed, poor market forecast, unreliable suppliers and long setup time. Buddha number 3 Motion The motion waste means any unnecessary movement of people, equipment or machinery. When motion occurs, no value is added to the product or material while manufacturing. And not only the employee's efforts are wasted during unnecessary motion, but it can also result in physical injuries to the employees. Motion waste includes repetitive movements such as reaching for materials, walking to get a tool, readjusting a component after it has been installed, searching for files, shifting through inventory to find what is needed, access mouse clicks and double entry of data. The major causes for motion wastes are poor process design and controls, poor shop floor layout, shared tools and machines, workstation congestions, inconsistent work methods and lack of standards. Buddha number 4. Waiting. Waiting means inaction that adds cost to a product being produced for a customer or idle time for next processing step. For example, waiting for a meeting to start or waiting for next operation by the product in assembly line. Waiting creates delays in the process and adds no value to the customer, whereas the cost of overhead operations continues to grow, which reduces the potential profit from the sale. It not only destroys the material and information flow but also generates the excess inventory. Waste of waiting includes when people waiting for material or equipment and when equipment waiting for the product to finish the required operation. For example, waiting for material to arrive, waiting for proper instructions to start the production. Having equipment with insufficient capacity. Waiting for others to respond to an email. Having files for review. Ineffective meetings. And waiting for the computer to load a program. The major causes for waiting waste are unplanned downtime, unbalanced workload long setup time, insufficient manpower, absenteeism, poor communication and poor process quality. Come to Buddha number 5, overproduction. Overproduction occurs when a product or an element of the product manufactured more than the required quantity. Overproduction leads to extra handling, extra space, extra capital extra machinery, extra defects, extra overhead charges, extra people, extra paperwork, extra inventory 
extra information to process and extra data to analyze extra 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 <laughs> means how much you have to work extra when you overproduce apart from this overproduction also leads to generation of problems including preventing a smooth flow of work higher storage costs hiding defects inside the work in process requiring more capital expenditure to fund the production process and excessive lead time and the major causes of overproduction are just in case production unclear customer needs producing for future demand long setup time engineering changes and poorly applied automation what a waste overproduction oops good number 6 overprocessing overprocessing means performing activities that add no value to the product or a service being provided to the customer for example taking multiple signatures for approval on a document overprocessing includes adding more components in a product than desired by a customer or having more steps in a process than required to manufacture a product reworking or repairing also the examples of overprocessing running more analysis than needed requiring more forms than needed having more functionalities in a product than needed generating more detailed report than needed adjusting a component after it has been installed having unnecessary steps in a purchasing process having an extra step in a workflow requiring unnecessary signatures on a document and double entry of data are all the examples of overprocessing the major causes of overprocessing are lack of communication excessive information frequent changes in product or process intention to keep busy employees misunderstanding of customer needs and lack of standards etc 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 mode number 7 defects defect is the result of manufacturing error or information error in case of a service defects make the product unfit for use it is the most easily recognizable waste in lean management defects include scrap and defective part that requires rework or repair in case of service transfer of money in a wrong account and dispatch of a letter to a wrong address are the examples of defects it is the most significant manufacturing or service waste because it leads to generation of additional wastes such as over production over processing and transportation the major causes of defects are poor quality control weak process control poor documentation lack of standards and misunderstood customer needs mode number 8 the last one the skills and talent of the employees if not used in the manufacturing or service organizations even though it was not the part of toyota production system but now it is well known by the organizations across the world as a vital waste of human potential this waste is not the manufacturing or service process specific but this relates to the management of manufacturing or service because the employees skills and critical thinking play a vital role in continuous process improvement and therefore not utilizing the knowledge and expertise of the frontline workers to improve the process means 
wasting the creative potential of the employees because the people operating the machines and equipment are most capable of identifying the problems and developing solutions like an operator is the first person who can easily predict what type of problem could occur in the machine and how to solve that problem the major causes of this waste are management by fear and politics poor hiring practices low investment in training low salary high turnover strategy not taking ideas and feedback from employees placing employees in position below their skills and qualifications and not providing required tools and equipment to employees in many organizations more than 90% of the activities and time in the process are non value added and thereby eliminating these eight deadly ways you can increase the flow of the process and hence the profitability use the value scheme map and start with the end customer in mind and identify these eight wastes work backwards from the end customer to the start of the production process document the instances of eight wastes in the process and develop a plan to eliminate them and hence improve your process continuously okay that's it for this lesson i hope you are very much clear about these eight deadly wastes hit the like button if you really like this video share this video among your friends and colleagues and let me know about your valuable thoughts through feedback in comment box click here to subscribe the channel click here to download the course notes and ebooks in pdf click to any of these two playlists to watch more related videos see you soon in my next video thanks for watching